I'm Liddell with ComputerSci and we're in the lab. Today we have an IBM X60S model laptop computer. It is a very small and very thin computer as you can see. It's kind of portable, like it's about a 10.1 inch screen. And the problem that we're having with this computer is the internal fan. Um, you get an error message indicating that the fan is bad. Let's see if we can get the error message to come up. Yeah, looks like we didn't. Looks like it's going to start. But generally, on occasion, this laptop more than often comes up before it gets to the windows and there's an error message to come up saying that it has a bad fan. So we're gonna go inside and replace the fan for this particular model. We have already ordered the part, which is here. This is the internal fan and the heat sink. Okay, first things first, we're gonna power this system down. And then we're going to remove the, stool, the screws, excuse me, remove the battery and the screws from the back of this unit. As you can see, we have a screw here, screw here, screw here. Most of these screws on the back of this thing, we're gonna remove, remove the ram, also remove the battery. Okay, we have removed all the screws. We have also removed the ram, the ram cover and the battery well as the hard drive cover. We have a total of 15 screws that should have been removed, including the screws that come off the back side near the battery and the hinge for the LCD. Okay, we're also gonna take this tab and remove the hard drive. And then once all that has been removed from the back, you are now ready to remove the keyboard. Okay, now removal of the keyboard is pretty much simple, simply because we have already removed all the screws. So, just going to basically pry it up like so. And flip it out, make sure you be careful with the ribbons. Let's see what we got here. This should just lift up out of here. Let's see. Okay, you're also going to want to remove this ribbon here. This attaches to the LCD. You need to fill up head, two screws here, remove the two screws. And also wants to go ahead and remove this ribbon for the mouse pad. And the trackball pretty much, which is here. We need to remove that, make sure that's loose. Okay, we have removed the screws. And now we just want to pop that up, pry it up. So that detaches from the motherboard. Okay, now we are ready to remove the LCD assembly. And remove the top bezel. Place it to the side. And we got the LCD. Pretty much still attached by the Wi-Fi cables. This is the Wi-Fi cable that leads to the Wi-Fi card. We got to pretty much unconnect from here and we got to pretty much unconnect the other cable which is the black side of the Wi-Fi cable here and here both leads to here. When disconnecting the Wi-Fi antenna cables make sure you notate which cable goes to which side of the Wi-Fi adapter. So we have the black side right here on the right. And we have the gray on the left. Okay, we have removed the Wi-Fi cable, gray and the black. You also have to remove 
the cable from here. He also had to remove the cable from the side here. Okay. Which is pretty much going to look like this. Which goes there. Okay. We have another cable here that we might as well go ahead and take a loose from the motherboard, which leads to the, guess what, power jack. That's right, this power jack is plugged into the motherboard to grab a cable instead of solder, which is a good thing. Okay, now we remove the LCD assembly over to the side, and it appears that everything is ready for the motherboard to be taken off. Here is the internal fan. Heat sink falls up under here, which is when we get this motherboard out, you will see the bottom side of this. Okay, we are now ready to lift the motherboard out of the bottom casing. I'm gonna flip it over. And basically, to remove the heat sink and fan, we're gonna have to loosen this screw, this screw, that screw there we got a screw over here and most likely you're probably going to have something up under this black plastic covering okay we take loosen up these screws these screws don't come out simply because they have they're attached with the spring and everything they're attached to the motherboard they're not designed to come out we also have to unplug the fan from the motherboard which is here uh-oh, that just totally tore. Well, hmm, good thing is that this fan was worn out. It was old anyway, so that was, that was probably expected. On the new fan, we're going to have a new piece on there anyway, so that doesn't matter. We're still good. There was nothing up under the black plastic strip. However, there is a screw here. This is on the other side of the motherboard. And you will find that screw right in between here that we have to take loose. Okay, we have the motherboard, we have the new heat sink, new fan, we have the new plug socket. Pretty much the old one removed, we removed it out. It was a little bit of a hassle to removing it simply because it had broke off as you all see. Um, that could come from the computer actually overheating because the fan is not working which causes this plastic here to pretty much heat up and get you know soft and hard soft and hard and then it just crumble but the most difficult part about this was this screw here which is attaches to the heat sink here if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver it's going to be kind of that's the most difficult part about getting that screw in all the other screws here, 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 and here, pretty much easy. Um, so now we have the new heat sink and fan installed. It's time to put this sucker back together. I'm Liddell with Computer Sci Electronics, and that concludes this video on repair for the IBM X60S laptop computer.